no introduction needed. What can I say? What can I say? Uh, I'm gonna have to say. Right, so we wasn't gonna be doing a video tonight. Welcome back in the gang of 123 now. I know, I know. It's all right, you ain't gotta thank me. Um, actually you do, you just have to thank me really, to be honest with you. Um, right, like I said, we weren't gonna do a video tonight. Right, this morning we had a major disaster. And a major disaster. Now, obviously, a lot of people know about the special plan that I've got coming up very in literally about six weeks, six Saturdays time, right? Looking very forward to the special plan because it enables me to fucking go out and have a life, sort of ish. Base level two, right? Base level two. Right, we're a level one up. I'm trying to get to base level two every other month. That's the plan, that's the plan, right? Anyway, when I come up with this plan, after that mildly upsetting second week of holiday in August, that I had no fucking money, even on holiday, mildly upset, but never mind, we'll, we'll, we'll skirt over that issue, right? I come up with a plan. So I went, right, so this is now August, right? It's now, the second weekend of February and I thought to myself coming nearer to the plan I bet something's gonna fuck up something has to go wrong right something's got a break or something and as it was fucking timed I woke up this morning turned on the TV and the TV said no I'm not happening TV died after 14 years Right, I'm six weeks away, or six weeks and six days away from the completion of the special plan, right? And the fucking TV dies. And I'm like, you are, you've got to be like, do you know what it is, right? You know what it's like? You know when you're that person, right? This is what it is for me, right? I am that person. Right, that goes into any supermarket or whatever. Not a massive one, but say like a normal-ish one, right? And uh, I'm doing camera production checks because I need to, because I'm not having any foul ups, right? Um, and you know when you go in and you, you, you've got to go to the fag counter, you've got some shopping, and there's a massive queue. And obviously, the couple of people in front of you, they're gonna be wankers, they're gonna, not have the right money or they want to get fucking lottery tickets and everything under the sun and they might have a bottle of milk and a fucking packet of biscuits and they, they take about 12 years to process them right and you're at the back and you know for a fact yeah you know for a fucking fact but by the time you what should have taken two minutes has taken 20 minutes and by the time you've actually gotten to the front of the queue you're gonna think if I look behind me, I 100% guarantee there's no one behind me. And you look behind you, and there's no one there. And it's like, fucking marvellous. I love it. So that's annoying. Um, it just would feel better if there was another queue of people behind you, so they've got to go through the same shit. But, you know, there we go. Anyway, yes, the TV broke down. Um, now, luckily, I have a uh, family that have got some dollar. Um, and uh, Mr. Uh, Uncle Jimbo and Mr. Mrs. Auntie Sandra, Auntie San, went out and bought me a new TV. So really appreciate that. Thanks, thumbs up. See, that's level two. That's level two. We can't get to that level, but you know what I mean. I want to just go out, really. I want to be able to go to a pub. That would be nice. Without worrying about financial consequences. So... Yeah, so that's the plan. So that's uh, not that far away now. So luckily, I mean, because I could have got a TV. Um, not today. I'd have had no TV. Um, I'd have had to have waited. I don't know. I, I have no idea how to tell you. I, I've got it in cash, but not in actual in in, in a in a card form. So because I'm a bit old, bit a bit out, bit out of step. And like I said, like this is going to be amazing. When I first go out, I haven't really probably been able to go out really since like 2012. 
so it's going to be interesting. I've been told my best advice is to buy some gaffer tape and stick it over my gob and not speak and just go there and just observe. So there we are. So because uh, last time I used to go out, it used to get a bit ahead. But you know, that's 12 years ago, so I was a lot more immature then, so and highly distressed from like the breakup of my girlfriend and things like that. So right, anyway. So what are we doing? What are we doing? So after that little uh, ramble introduction there, so yeah, so I was just gonna do it either tomorrow or fall over. So I've literally only got the TV set up, really. Um, so I've skipped through most of it. I don't even watch TV. I, I use it literally just fucking so I can see my Xbox and shit. Um, so yeah, I mean the Xbox as well. That's probably going to be next to go because I've had that since 2015, the Xbox One. So you know, there we go. I can't wait. But we'll see what happens. So, right. So, right. I'm doing a chili con carne, right? I know everyone's going, right, okay. Hey, chili con carne. Chili con carne is lush. It is lush. So, but I want to do something different, right? So, I'm not serving rice. I'm going to do it with fucking chips, right? So, we're going for chip land. But what I'm also going to do... Let's test the heat of that. But what I'm also going to do is I'm going to serve it, yeah, with some braised uh, slow cooked beef ribs as well. So that's the idea. So I know it sounds a bit mental, but I think it'll. I think it'll be fine. To be honest with you, I think it'll be fine. So I've got some braised beef ribs here that I've had in the freezer for, since. Uh, last June, I think it was, or something like that. So we've got them, so they're cool. So yes, that's the, that's the idea. I just want to see how this goes. I know it's not, I was, I don't know if I'm going to serve it uh, with the chili con carne, or if I'm going to serve it in the chili con carne. I don't know, I'm just taking off a bit of extra moisture there from the beef short ribs. So, so there we go, so there's the suckers there. So we've got a nice bit of marbling on them bad boys. So, right, so I will warn you, people, it is about, probably about nearly seven o'clock here at night on a Saturday, okay? So we don't know, um, God, this one's slightly smaller, but you know, we'll, we'll live with that. So I'm gonna do a couple of different little things with this. Um, at the moment, we just want to get them um, uh, fried off. I just want to put that in there, I just want to see what the reaction is. The reaction's not pulling, so I'll turn it up a little bit. Right, so what I'm going to do is, I haven't got a lot of sea salt left, so I'm just going to... I'm just going to... <coughs> use table salt on these. So I just want to give my salt in. So I'm just going to use table salt because I haven't got a lot of sea salt left. I went over the shop, but as per usual, I forgot. I forgot to get any sea salt and black pepper. Actually, I've used. I've got a little bit of black pepper left, but I'll have to be careful. So I'll use that in this. Just a little bit. I ain't got a lot really. I can't go. It's going to have to be the, the ground black white pepper or whatever and there we go so that's that right so that's them let's leave them there for a little minute right yeah so um yeah so welcome back um all the people in my gang all, the, all my new subscribers as well um we all appreciate you having a little watch and coming on board and having a laugh and uh thinking you know, is that Sergeant Fury Toes even slightly sane or is he completely mental? We don't know. Right, so what I want to do, I'm just going to slice up some onions here, right? Now, I want to, I've got to put some colour on these beef ribs, but I also, I'm going to be bake, a base braising it in sort of like, um, I'm not using red wine, but I have got a beef stock 
right? I've got a Nor Jelly Beef Stock Pot, right? Very good, extremely useful in these situations, right? So, because I'm not going to go through the palaver. Um, like I said, this isn't a commercial kitchen, so I'm not going through the palaver of like, like baking off beef ribs and all that shit. And, yeah, you don't need to. So I want to use some onion uh, that will be going. I'm going to brown the onion off with the actual beef short ribs. All right. I'll salt out the chili con carne a bit later. That's going to be going for most of the night. So it's going to be a very slow cooked chili con carne. Um, uh, we don't know how many parts this is going to be, to be honest with you. Like I said, I weren't going to do this tonight. I was going to leave it for tomorrow. But then I thought to myself, well, you know, it's going to be quite a long one, no matter what I do. So at the end of the day, if I start it tonight, at least I'll be able to finish it for tomorrow. We don't know. We might be able to finish it tonight. We've got no idea. It literally depends on two factors, right? It depends on A, um, how many cigarettes I've had, how many cigarettes I've had, and B, how pissed I am, right? I'm at the moment, right? I would say on an apple tizer level, so zero to 10, 10 being like basically the same sort of state I was in when I cooked the uh, fish and chips, or tried to do fish and chips in the gin bar, but I drank most of the gin, obviously, because just there, I just couldn't help myself. So that's a 10, well, not a 10, I'd say nine and a half, right? Unable to uh, comply, basically. At the moment, I would say we're on like about, uh, about a four. So we're all right, we're a little bit tipsy, nothing like mental. So like, you ain't got to like, sort of like, like, think, oh, fucking hell. So we should be not too, this onion's being a cunt, so sorry about the language there. Right, okay, I don't like using that word, that's a bit of a naughty word, isn't it? Do apologise, this onion's being a bit of a git. It's being a bit of a sod. So, okay, right. So now we're, we're trying to sort ourselves out from the melee of, the melee of that. Let's get the onions that we're going to use. I want to keep them in a biggish chunk. They're only going to be going into a small pot, like the beef ribs and the sauce and the onions. So, but we want to get a bit of colour on everything. So that's the plan. So, well, let's do it. Let's do some, let's do some chefing. Oh, it's still not fucking hot enough, is it? Oh, turd. Right, that's fine. I'll whack that right up. We're going to whack that up to a nine. I'm not going after burner uh, because all I want to do, we're not cooking the beef ribs, okay? The oven's on. I've got it on about 150. Now, the reason why I've got it on 150 is it's going to take ages, right? The beef ribs are literally probably overnight. I mean, even with the chili sauce, even with the, the, the chili con carne, I might. I might do it overnight. I'm not too sure. Right, so there's my Nor stock pot. These are very useful and they're very good. They're very good actually as well. They've got a really nice, and if you want to, I mean, if you want to really buff it up, you could put some bovril in there, um, which I might do. I don't know. I'm also going to put in the sauce for the beef ribs, uh, some chili and garlic sauce, right? Now that's going to be controversial because it's it's going to be chili and garlic sauce and a bit of tomato paste as well. So there's a lot of controversy in this dish. I haven't got any special wooden spoon, have I? This is the one that's got a little bit of a broken bit because it it makes me look like I've been cooking for years. Well, I've been cooking for years, so fucking whatever. But I'm just gonna mix that beef stock pot jelly thing around and there it goes over there. Right, let's hope that this is like, a lot more sorted out. That's better. Right. So basically just want some colour on there, like I'm not looking like I said, I'm not looking for miracles. Right, we're not looking for miracles. We don't to be honest with you, a lot of people when they do cooking they always try and they always go above and beyond. And you don't have to. 
Now, well, you might have to, but I don't have to. Now, the reason why is because of Michelin, right? Right, we have got an update, okay? Now, like I said before, they've, they've, they're not, they're, they're, they're going to stop the careers for a minute, right? Because they need to reassess. They need to reassess. So what they're going to be doing is um, they're going to be sending out one of their special agents, okay? Now, apparently, now I have no idea who the special agent is. We don't know how he's getting to us or where he's coming from to get to us. Um, like with the couriers, with the couriers they have to tell you the mode of transport uh, or the testing alternatives that they have in mind for that courier to be able to come to me with that Michelin star letter representing my amazing awesomeness, right? It's just how it goes. Right, okay, I can't tell you about it. Uh, I'm about ground back pepper in that uh, feed stock there. So, right, hang on, oh, I'm having a moment. Right, I'm having a moment. I am, I've lost all due function. Right, we're just gonna, all we want is colour. We're just looking for a nice bit of colour on that feed. Oh, that's nice. So we're getting there, we're getting there. Yeah, so like I said, I've got no prior knowledge to how this uh, agent um, gets to me because they have different levels in their sending out ability, okay? Now, they only do an agent once. Now, if that agent does fail for any particular reason, um, then they go back to the careers. And it gets here when it gets here. If the couriers make it, they make it. If they don't, they don't. It's just how it is. Um, so there we go. Right, so, getting back to the beat. So, yeah, so like I said, I want to go a little bit more oriental on the on the chili beef stock. I've also got uh, a little bit of soy sauce as well. Because I just want to infuse them uh, beefy flavours with that chili con carne. And I think that's going to make it amazing. And we're not serving with rice. We're going to go a little bit cancel, right? We're going to go a little bit cancel, and we're going to serve it with fucking chips. Have some of that with chips. The chips are the way. Chips depict all situations. Everyone loves a fucking chip, right? So. Right. There we go. Ah. Yes, yeah, so I hope everyone is well in this uh, lovely, uh, lovely Saturday afternoon here in the, in the uh, Sergeant's Kitchen. I'm all glad and welcome you here. Um, so we've had a few conversations with our um, gang members, especially Cheap Unit. Um, I welcome back to Johnny Kay's, uh, he, yeah, the, the cotton movement assure one that I've done, yeah, it was alright, but I think he went a little bit monstrous on this, right, I, think, I can tend to do that, I can tend to over-exaggerate the, uh, situation, um, and, you know, that's when it can get a little bit spicy, so, that's all I'm saying on that. Now, I want to check the strength for this beef stock, right? That's nice. But you know what's going to make it nicer? I'm going to put in... Now, this is being ultra naughty, right? It is being a bit naughty, but I'm going to put in a little bit of bob oil. Now, the bottle's been in the fridge, so I need to heat the spoon up. Is that all right? I'm keeping an eye on the beef fridge, don't worry. I'm going to put in a little bit of bob. A little bit of bob to bob roll. And that is going to... That's going to really fucking... That's going to really... That's going to bring some shit to life, mate, I tell you. So, bob roll. Always have some bob roll in the fridge. I mean, this is why when I, like last year, I bought so much stuff, 
um, and I just went above and beyond. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, that's terrible. Right, so you've got some nice colour on that uh, on that beef now. That's going to be sick. We're doing a little bit of mixing now. So we're doing some real cooking now, that's what I'm saying. Right. So we want to keep them at that heat on that on that beef at the moment, right? Um, with the onions, we're going to start putting them in. We just need them to have a little bit of colour also. I want to start picking up some residual some residual beef flavours. Yeah, I know that candle on that pan's a bit wobbly. It's old, right? It's old like me. So that's fucking start. A while ago. Write a strongly worded comment. You know what I mean? So, we don't know how many, like I said, we have no idea how many parts this is going to take. Um, it could be, it takes basically as long as it takes really, to be honest with you. Um, I've got the oven on, everything's cooking off. Uh, we're going to just keep this. I don't want to rock that too much, but I don't want that handle to just fly off. That would be quite annoying when it really is. Yeah, yeah. So I've got this on the full one, eh? So, uh, any of the other events that have happened apart from the TV fucking dying? Uh, I couldn't believe I really just couldn't believe it. I just thought to myself, you know what? That is so amazing that even I'm amazed at my own amazing. I really am. When it, oh, just for 14 years and it has to go, Six Saturdays and six days away from the special event. Amazing. This is absolutely... Oh, absolutely outstanding. It really is. Right, so I'm going to place these beef briskets in. Let's give you a little bit of a show on that so we don't... We don't all start getting all upset. Oh, he hasn't showed us what he's doing. Right? Now, I can already smell the onion off that, coming off that. I'm going to give the onions a little bit more time to do their thing. Alright. Oh. I'll just get rid of that. Fuck Right. Yeah, so it's going to be, I don't know how I'm going to do it, it's bone side up or meat side. Oh, for God's sake. It's just being a shit. Right, I need a fork. It's only a small pan, so I want to, I don't really, I've got another pan to use, but it's just a little bit like too big for this, do you know what I mean? So I've got to be, I've got to be careful in what I'm doing, I'm fanning around too much now. I'll just chuck them in, for fuck's sake, who cares, right. Well, I just want colour on these now, well, yeah. not after any, any spices or anything like that at the moment, right. What we want to do is a nice little bit of colour. Um, I'm probably actually going to have to take that beef out of here. Let's right, just whack it on the wood colour. Right? Oh, fuck's sake. Right, so the pan might, this might be too small. But that, I want to cover it quite up because it's going to be cooking off in the oven for quite a while. Right? Quite a while. Quite a while. Right now, before we do anything, everyone can be going, hang on a minute, you've got no garlic in there. I know. It's alright, don't panic. So we are sorting the garlic out. So I want about four four big cloves of garlic, really. I'm not I don't I'm not a, you know, I'm not squeamish about garlic. We do like a bit of garlic, right? So just crush them up, leave the skin on, don't worry about it, it's fine. Right, we'll chuck them in as well. We'll give them a little fry up. So that's going to be garlic frying along with all them caramelisational juices that have been going on in there. Right? This is what I'm talking about, this is why, yeah, we're waiting a Michelin star first home cooked chef left up, let up. 
Yeah. For home cookers. Right. I don't know if it's got the same level of. Um, uh, I'm going to whack a little bit of butter in there actually, to be honest with you. I just feel a bit of a taste for butter and garlic. Do you know what I mean? It always, always rings bells and truths to me. It always hits the note and the soul. Um, but yeah, I don't know if like a home cooker, uh, Michelin star, right? I'm actually, I got a message from them literally about five minutes before I started. I'm awaiting an email um, because they might, they might have to tell me um, the transportational methods. They don't normally do this, by the way, but the transportational methods of the agent they're sending. So uh, apparently it won't be anything too audacious. It should be something normal. So we will see. We will just have to wait and see. So right, we'll wrap that in now. Right, now, with the... Okay. That's fine. Right, so what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to get a teaspoon. Now, with the tomato paste and this chilli paste, right, because we're putting a nice big spoonful of the garlic chilli paste, it's got a lot more of a richy, smoky flavour. So you don't have to fry off the um, the tomato paste that we're going to put in here. Right? You can just put it in raw. It's not a problem because that chilli and garlic paste right, is going to really carry off right, the tomato paste. So it's not a major issue. Right? So I wouldn't be overly concerned about that, to be honest with you. Okie dokie, right, I'm just going to pour the beef stock in now. Alright, just halfway. I'm just going to mix all them in, all them flavours in. Alright, that's okay. It's already smelling like, like double amazing, do you know what I mean? Obviously, because, you know, I've done it a nice thing. Right, now in goes the beef short ribs. So we want to fill them up. So they're just, they're just under the under the tops of them, right? Because don't forget, this is going to be cooking off all night. So that's going to be quite a long time, right? The rest of that we can use for the chili con carne itself, right? So I've whacked them in now. Um, I'm tempted in to put a little bit of thyme, maybe a little sprig of thyme. Let's do that, that might be a good idea. So just a little little sprig of rosemary. It's got a bit of rosemary and lemon thyme in it. So just a bit of that on there. That should do the trick. So that's that done. I can see the rich, you can see the rich gravy flavours already. That it's gonna be mental. I mean of course it's gonna be fucking mental. I've done it for God's sake. Alright, so oh, oh shit. Right, I'm gonna leave everything on a simmer now because we're gonna put this in the oven so I've got it on 150 right and it's literally gonna be in now all night so obviously this video will not be completed until tomorrow okay so I've made my decision that's just how I'm gonna go in a bit I am a bit hungry so I'll probably have a little bit of uh, uh, chili con carne later a bit of bread, bread, bread and butter or something I don't know. So, uh, yeah, there we go. Let's wait that down to about one. So, there we go. So, yeah, like I said, um, a bit gutted this morning uh, from the TV. Uh, fucking up. Um, that was a bit of a nightmare. Uh, it's just, uh, why? Why is it always me? It's just always me. It really is. Something else is going to fuck up. I bet the Xbox one, I bet the Xbox fucking dies next. If that happens, then that is a massive nightmare. Because I don't watch TV, so basically. I haven't watched TV since about 2008 because it's shit. So, right. Right, my right outside of toes. That's the end of part one. I will see you, lovely people, in part two. Leave it with you.